Hi guys, I've been to the car boot again today, flea market, buying junk, and I bought a heap of junk. I, I mean, honestly, I should have just come home after the first car boot, but I actually went to three. Ugh, anyway, um, so the first thing I bought when I walked in, the first stall, literally, um, I bought this hand vise, and it says here, uh, 1944 with an arrow, so I think that means it's made for the military. I bought one last week, um, for the same uh, sort of money, uh, so I just thought, why not? Nash, you've sold a seed in my brain because now I'm buying unbranded bloody footprint wrenches. You are a bad man. Um, so I've never bought, I don't even buy footprint wrenches and now I'm buying unbranded ones. So I'll have to send you this one because I don't want it. Um, so it's quite cool. It's got a brass screw and I th I'm not sure if it's the original one sticks through quite a lot so probably not unless it had a, a nut on the other side and it says here h r s on both sides h r s it's her majesty's service and it's got it there as well h r s and then here there's some writing but just there but i can't read what it says um but there is some some writing there probably a wire wheel might sort that and I bought this little uh, two inch fuller uh, um, clamp made in Japan. So the first lot was £1.50 for the three items. So three items for £1.50. So I thought I thought that was fun, £1.50. So I put them aside. And um, the next thing I bought was this. Um, and it's, it's um, this is you again, Nash. Elliot Lucas pliers 1949 and it's got an arrow so it denotes some sort of military service um, and it's got another arrow there saying 26 I don't know what the 26 means it's got somebody's it's got some really heavy pitting just there everywhere else seems not too too bad but just there but they seem to be pretty decent the actual jaws seem to be decent and the actual it's got a chunk out of that one but yeah so they were a pound and um, this one is crescent tool company jamestown new york i tell you what there's a lot of tools made in new york um, and they've got like quite a nice little pattern so they've got slip joints um so they just need a bit of a clean up really the um there's no point in doing much with it because the chrome's coming off but it's not uh, it's not worth taking the chrome off but yeah jamestown new york they were a pound and this was two pound which is a micrometer um two inch micro one to two inch micrometer with the box and the little uh adjustment key and this one is a more more and right um sheffield england um and it's free and clear so i thought and it's got the graduations there. So I think it goes up to 50, this one, is it? No, 20. So anyway, yeah, so that one, um, two pounds. So all together, four pounds. That was the second stall I went to. More junk. Um, the next thing I bought um, was, the next stall I went to was this one. And I bought this little um, adjustable wrench. It says here, uh, British made um, it doesn't say anything on the else and it's got a similar grind to the one that was 50p and it's not in bad shape it's straight rusty but it's straight so 50p I couldn't say no for 50p I don't know why I've got too many of them as it is so that was that the next thing I bought which was not 50p and you can guess what the price I paid is this e-swing hammer with this beautiful leather sheath so and it says here wear goggles it's got it's starting to get that patina what that the e-swing hammers get but it's not quite there um and it's not got a bad blade on it um so an e-swing hammer um i'm not going to say the price i paid for that but it wasn't cheap um and it's um a number one and i think it's called a sportsman a sportsman e-swing hammer and i quite like it i don't know if it's coming out 
the, the sheath, the original sheath. The only reason why I bought it was I really like the sheath and it was off my mate Eric. So have a guess on the price I paid for that. Um, and off the same guy, Eric, I bought these tin snips, uh, Stanley tin snips, uh, two pound. And they look decent and they're pretty tight. So for two quid, I'll give them a whirl. So that was that two pound. Um, the next stall I went to was this one and I got a self grip wrench Newport which is the mole brand trademark made in England um, and they seem to work and I like these because you push down to open rather than yanking up so and they click down and then you can just click them to open and I think that's a slightly better uh, slightly better mechanism and these are quite uncommon so I decided to pick that up that was a pound and it's a good one probably a six or seven inch one so I'm happy with that um, and the next thing I bought and the last thing I bought on the first car boot was these bags of brand new screwdrivers um, and that one's got a wire stripper in it so it's a bag of brand new screwdrivers let's have a look and they're all brand spanking new tips are new and the boost and these were at a shop called class olsen and the guy had loads of them so i thought electronic uh thousand volt electrician screwdrivers um and there's quite a lot there's philip is that phillips i don't know it's, it's not it's not thingy so there's how many screwdrivers is there one two three four five six seven eight um, that one looks slightly unusual. That one looks different. It's not so maybe that's an older design. 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 screwdrivers and uh, a thousand volt electrician's wire stripper. And that was five pounds. And it says here, made in Germany. Is it Adol? Adam? Adam Tool Company? A D A T C, so made in Germany. So that whole bag with all these screwdrivers was five pound. So I thought it was five pound a bag. I thought they're useful just to give away at that price. And then the other bag I bought, which was also five pound a bag, is 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 a set of three. Um. So we've got a made made in Germany. Adams Tool Company long needle nose and they're really really to a point I don't know if you can see really to a point uh, needle nose um, a standard sort of linesman's pliers but like again thousand volt made in Germany and then another set he must have had loads of these if he's, if he's putting them with the screwdrivers another set of wire strippers so I'm going to give one of those to my mate Scott see if he wants it so I've got um so it's three sets for a fiver and then 12 screwdrivers and another one of those for a fiver. So I think that's better value. So that's my grand tool haul part one because um, I'm, I've been to three car boots and I can't get it all on my board. So altogether £1.50, £4, 50p, guess the price, guess the price um um fiver five pound one pound two pound um and what do you think i paid for that and that was off my mate eric on the car boot so please if you like the video feel free to leave a comment subscribe tell me how ill i am and all the junk i buy and uh, yeah thanks for watching all right thank you bye